Hi guys, Hui Raptor here for step 5 on how to assemble the TiVo Black Widow. Let's start by taking the lock colors from the bag. Insert the small screws in them. Get both lead screws and install the bottom lock collars. Place them at a distance of 9.5 mm from the edge. You will need to take the exit entry out because the lock collar will not get through. Place both lead screws. Make sure they go in the bearing. Put the X gantry back and install the top lock collars, bearings and top end plates. Ok, now get a caliper and measure the distance from the plates to the lead screw. Make this measurement with the X gantry at the bottom position, at mid height and at the top. The distance must be the same in all three positions. If the distance is not the same, it means you do not have the lead screw parallel or it's bent. Let's start by checking if the lead screw is bent or not. Remove the top end plate, bearings, the top lock collar and the X gantry. Get what's left of your uh, B4 bag. First, check if your plates have tapped holes and if you have normal nuts or lock nuts. If you have tapped holes, then you're fine and you can use the normal nuts. But if you don't have the tab holes and receive normal nuts like me, I recommend you to replace them with lock nuts. Install the lead screw nuts on both sides. First, the screw, then the spacer, lead screw nut, and finally the nut or lock nut. Take both lead screws out and use only one with the X gantry at this point. You will need to take one of the lock collars out before that.
put everything in place and remember, use only one lead screw at this time. Install the top end plate without the bearing. Start with the X gantry at the bottom position and check how the lead screw is positioned at the top side. Turn the lead screw one revolution and see how the lead screw tip behaves. If the lead screw turns and maintains its X and Y position, it means that your lead screw is fine. But if you see the lead screw moving around when turning, then it means you have a bent lead screw. In this case, you need to try and fix the lead screw or replace it. Now, we will start with the X and Y alignment. Start with the X alignment first. In my case, I have a misalignment in the X direction. To fix the X misalignment, you need to increase or reduce the distance between the plate and the lead screw nut. Since my misalignment is to the outside, it means that I need to reduce that distance. So, I have to replace this 5mm spacer with a smaller one. I decided to use a combination of some 1mm shims and also some of my 0.2mm shims uh, to achieve the ideal distance. The lead screw nut has a 2mm deep and 8mm wide recess. So, whatever solution you get, spacer or shim, you need to take this into account. That's why I'm using the brass shims at the end. Install everything again and check. With the correct spacer, the lead screw is now centered. Confirm this also at mid-height and at the top. You need to rotate the lead screw by hand, so be patient. Once the lead screw X alignment is done, proceed with the alignment in the Y direction. To fix the Y axis misalignment, you can untighten the two screws that secure the lead screw nut and move it to correct it. 
In my case, the alignment on the uh, Y axis is perfect, so I don't need to adjust it. Now, remove the first lead screw and install the second one. Repeat the same procedure that was done with the first lead screw to the second lead screw. For the second lead screw, I had to make exactly the same adjustments that I did with the first one. Once the second lead screw is perfectly aligned, go ahead and install the first lead screw back. And this concludes the lead screw alignment check and adjustments. In the next video, we will install the Z-stepper motor, so stay tuned.